What you're witnessing here today is an event held by the Muslim faithful annually to mark the 40th day since the martyrdom of uh, the grandson of the Prophet of Islam, uh, Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. Uh, this event has been held uh, in some form, not just in Burlington, but globally, uh, since around the time of the martyrdom uh, in 16, uh, excuse me, in 680. Uh, and this occurred in what was then Karbala, Iraq. At the time, the uh, Prophet's grandson had uh, uh, risen up against an especially tyrannical uh, caliph uh, out of Syria at the time. And he, along with his uh, companions, uh, were martyred in Karbala, Iraq. Uh, and since that time, uh, events like this, what's known as a malkib, um, and I can't think of a, a better English translation for it, uh, are designed to uh, remind people of the events that happened. And Imam Hussein's, um, the spirit of justice, uh, social, economic, religious, political justice uh, that animated uh, his actions uh, and those of his uh, brave companions uh, who were uh, mercilessly um, put down at that time. Um, right now, uh, as this is filming, there are millions of people, and typically uh, I would say around 17 million or so, uh, people who are in the process of walking from all parts of Iraq uh, and some neighboring countries uh, to Karbala itself uh, in order to commemorate the incredible sacrifice of Imam Hussein and his companions. And what we are seeing here in Vermont today, and having grown up here, I never thought I would uh, see this myself, uh, is similar to what you would find if you were walking along the road to Karbala, uh, Iraq today. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think that's, that's about all I could say about it. Hello, my friends. This is Ali Mahdi from the voice of Lady Zainab uh, events in Burlington. Today, you will hear about the story of Imam Hussein and his family and companions. I will introduce my brother Ali here to have uh, some explanation of the story happened there. And then we will hand the mic to our sister Dima to have complete the, the explanation also. Thank you so much, brother Ali. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ali. So this section is the big chart explanation of the Arba'in event of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. So let's start with the first picture. And this picture demonstrates when Imam Hussein came with his family um, to Karbala. The second picture here is showing the family of Imam Hussein alayhi salam versus the army of Yazid. And you can see the difference in numbers pretty clearly. And on this picture here, we have the youngest child of Imam Hussein, who was only six months years old. He was really thirsty, and his father asked the bad people, the other army, for water. And instead of giving him water, they um, they hit him with an arrow that has three brown and killed him on the spot in his father's hands. And uh, this is Dima speaking again. Um, in this picture here, you see the horse of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Um, again, this is in the heat of the Middle East. Both the Imam and the horse were very, very thirsty. Um, they rode out to a river nearby to get some water, and neither of them would drink first. Um, this picture is after the Imam alayhi salam has died, and the horse is in its way of death. And this picture here, after all, Imam Hussein's family and friends got killed. So the bad people decided to um, burn all the tents and really give a good scare for all the children and women.
This picture here is after the battle has ended. A lot of the men have been killed, and it is depicting uh, Lady Zainab, who is Imam Hussein's sister, who took the leadership after his death. And for this picture, um, after everyone died, so um, the bad people decided to cut all the heads of Imam Hussein's family and friends and put them on an arrow and took them with the family and the children as a war prisoners. In this picture here, it is showing the start of the march that Yazid's forces took on uh, the family, the remaining family, uh, the, ch the women and children of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, marching them around to show off that they have captured the remaining of uh, the family. So in that picture um, is when the um, family of Imam Hussein alayhi salam arrived to Damascus with um, the heads of their loved ones. So the bad people, the Yazid army, made sure that everyone in the um, community and the local people are awake and ready being outside to celebrate and sing in um, to the death and the horrible thing they did for those people, which is the Imam Hussein's family. And this picture here is depicting Yazid, um, you know, talking to a room of people and scaring them into if they were to follow in, you know, in Islam, they would say, face the same fate that the rest of the family and the grandson, the, the grandson of Imam. Al In this picture here, we are showing uh, Yazid using scare tactics among the people and showing them that if they were to follow Islam, they would benefit the same fate of the Imam Hussein and his family. So for this next picture, we have uh, when Rukayya alayhi salam, which is the youngest daughter of Imam Hussein, was crying and asking for her father. And then what Yazid did and instead of um, comforting her or talking to her, he put her father's head in a dish or a big tray um, covered with a piece of a cloth and he brought it to her. So she's as a child, she took the cloth out and then surprise, her father's head was there. She hugged her father's head and she died on the spot. In this picture, next picture here, you see a map outline of modern-day Iraq and modern-day Syria. And the uh, arrows follow the march that the family of Hussein alayhi salam were taken upon. And it was used as a way of showing everyone around that area the fate that befell the family of Imam Hussein. And it is, again, to scare people into not following Islam. Okay, on this picture we have, it's when the family of Imam Hussein alayhi salam came back from um, Syria, Damascus, where Yazid's hair to quarter is. So they came back to Karbala with the heads of their loved ones, like Imam Hussein, Imam Abbas, and all the brothers and cousins, friends. And they buried the heads with each specific um, body. In this picture here, we have Imam Hussein's shrine in Karbala. It is visited by millions of people. It is in Karbala, Iraq. It is visited by millions of people during this time of year for to, to honor his memory and what, what he has done for the religion of Islam. And on this picture here, we have the shrine of Imam Abbas, who is the dear brother of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. And he's also buried in Karbala, Iraq and uh, there are over 20 million people every year they go to that shrine and pay their respect and learn a lot from Imam Abbas and how he was devoted and supportive and always helping his older brother Imam Hussein.
In this picture here, we have the shrine of Lady Zainab in Syria. Lady Zainab is the sister of Imam Hussein. And with this picture here, we have concluded our tour around this slight, you know, small uh, depiction of the battle and the outcome of the uh, the family of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. We just wanted to mention that in this more small tour of pictures and explanations of this massacre and the battle that happened, there is a lot of pictures that we did not include due to their graphic nature. Um, we would love to explain more and talk to you all. And inshallah, we will be back next year and do it. And if you would like to come and join us, that would be amazing. Thank you. Hi again. Uh, the second section in this event is to watch the event worldwide. Brother Hassan here will explain it to you. Hi, my name is Hassan. Um, I'm from the Voice of Lady Zainab. Salam. So um, I created a video that uh, captured some of the countries that um, do this event. And then I have a small section that Father Christopher talked about Lady Zainab salam, and how powerful she is. And then I did cover for each country, but not all of the countries because um, the video will be like an hour long. So for example, here we have Belgium and Michigan, Turkey here, and then it will be, uh, ha happens all around the world. Thank you. Hello again, my friend. Uh, this is a very unique and extraordinary section in the event. It's all handmade, a lot of work. Sister Kawthar will explain that for you. Hello everyone, my name is Kawthar Hashim. Um, I will start talking about these. These are basically who is and what happened. And here we have who is the Lady Zainab and we have, um, we basically explain about her life, who she is, basically her biography. The same thing with Imam Hussein, um, talking about who he is, his parents and the summary of his life. Um, and then in here we have what happens in the Battle of Karbala. Bullet points, they're very short, but they have the main points of what happens in, the, in Karbala. And then in here, we have um, some quotes on the mug. And um, an example of these, um, we have, through patience, great things are accomplished by Imam, Hus Imam Ali. Another thing that we have is, do not let your difficulties fill you with anxious anxiety. After all, it's not, it is only in the darkest nights that stars shine more brightly. In the next section, we have some keychains. Um, these are made for all ages and all people. Um, an example of this, of these keychains are this. Um, Imam Hussein for justice, and then on the other side you have Imam Hussein against injustice. Another thing we try to show the shrines of the Imams. And here we have Imam Kadhim. And then this is his shrine from the inside and the outside. Another thing that we have is another type of keychain, I should say, is in here we have Lady Zainab, voice against oppression, and then we have the doom of Lady Zainab. Then if we move to the next sections, we have in here a mimic of um, Lady Zainab's shrine. And here we have some pins that are talking about sending the same messages as we try to. A message of love and of respecting and being an open mind to all, all people. And here, for example, we have Lady Zainab is a ray of hope. An example, another example is this. Lady Zainab is a voice of truth. And then on the other side, same thing, different messages for Imam Hussein. For example, in here we have Imam Hussein stood for equality. The next thing that we also have is the sh um, a mimic of Imam Abbas's shrine. Um, and then in here we have some magnets. Um, we have one for the kids. Um, here they are. And we have, this is 
Imam Hussein's shrine. And then in here we have um, dignity, death with dignity is better than a life with humiliation. Another thing is, another type of magnet is stand with Imam Hussein for pres preserving a human dignity. Now if we move on to the next section, we have a mimic of Imam Hussein's shrine. And here we have, they're full of stickers. Um, for example, we have in here, Imam Hussein asks us to stand up against injustice. Um, another example of it is you will, what you hide in your heart will always appear in your eyes. And then a beautiful drawing of Imam Hussein's doom and Manara. Um, and then if we move on to the next section in here, we have some pens that we made for the, um, for the company. And then in here we have a tote bag, which is the voice of the Lady Zainab. It's very simple and beautiful. Um, and all, as I said, all these are for free for everyone else. Hello, my friend. My favorite section ever, children's area. Sister Zahra is going to explain it to us. Hello, my name is Zahra, and I'm from the Voice of the Lady Zainab. Here we have some pins for the children. We have some cups. And we have some chocolate and a gift boxes for them. And we also have some word search papers and coloring books. And we have um, a book for the kids to read. And we have some pens down here. And we have some um, keychains and bracelets. And um, here we have the picture that Cotter painted. It's a picture of. Um, Imam Abbas, and he's taking care of the children during the war. And a very interesting section, the food section, which is uh, give a very delicious meal for everyone. Sister Sama will have more information about that. So today we have different types of food. Um, all types here that you see today are free of charge. Um, we are offering the food in remembrance um, of Imam al-Hussein um, and his family who were um, denied food and water um, for days on end. Um, his family, women and children were all denied food. Um, and so every year we um, give out food in remembrance of that. So we have different options. We have a vegetarian option. We have Iraqi biryani. Um, and then there's um, Iraqi kima um, that comes with rice. Um, and so there are different options that are suitable um, for people. Um, and as we go down, um, we also have desserts and we have um, fruits and um, water for folks um, to consume um, as they're liking. Um, but these are all the things that we provide. And again, they're all free of charge um, just for people to enjoy and um, remember that Imam Hussein gave up um, the amazing luxury of food and water um, for him and his family just so that he could stand for justice um, and um, um, injustice and standing against corruption. So today we remember that and we are passing out food um, for all to enjoy free of charge. Um, just to see the examples of food that we have, um, the first one is a vegetable option, um, vegetarian, it's rice, and then um, the second one is Iraqi biryani. So you have here meat and rice um, and vegetables as well. And then you, over here we have the kima. Um, this is also meat and um, chickpeas as well, and it's eaten with rice. And so these are the different options of food that we have. Um, along with the fruits um, and desserts um, and the drinks. So. Uh, as you see here, the Arab Arbain event, if there are more than 10 million people from different countries and background gathering at the same place and at the same time. So the question is why is the media didn't cover it? 
I thought it should be, it's worthy to cover it. And this is our event for this year. And I hope uh, you visiting us for the uh, next uh, event to get some um, messages from the great lady Zainab. In this banner shows the last scene of the battle. The army of Yazid thought they killed every single man in Hussein's family when the Lady Zainab stand up and took the flag and said, the, fl the fight and the battle start right now. We're still here, we're not done. <laughs> 